This robot is 3D printing directly onto a heart. The white stuff is bio-ink, which can repair organ or tissue damage or ruptured blood vessels. This robot is so flexible and small that it can enter the human body and make repairs directly inside. It could be a game changer. The team of engineers in Australia who developed the robot say that not only will it be able to 3D print inside the body, but also remove cancerous tumours. They hope one day it'll simplify some kinds of surgery. Bio-ink is made up of living cells and other natural tissues. When it's printed, it creates natural tissue-like structures, which fuse naturally with the human body and continue to grow. This is called 3D bioprinting. Currently, biomaterials must be created outside of the body before relying on more typically invasive surgery to insert the materials inside. This can lead to high blood loss, infections, and other complications. Team leader Tan No Do says the new device, named F3DB, will eliminate those risks. Currently, no commercially available technology can can perform direct 3D printing inside the human body. Some technology have been proposed to check the handhold device, but they only limited at the skin surface only, and so they make from the rigid materials, and therefore they don't have enough flexibility to insert inside the human body and perform the 3D printing. The F3DB robot features a three-axis printing head that can bend and twist using hydraulics on the tip of the soft robotic arm. The printing nozzle can print pre-programmed shapes or can be operated manually if more complex or undetermined printing is required. Sub-robots is very good for working with the human body because they mostly make from sub-materials such as silicon elastomer and therefore they can offer the same interaction with the living body. Second thing that sub-robots, they can offer high flexibility and adaptability. It means they can reach to any area inside the human body. Pending further clinical trials, Doe believes the device is on track for commercialization in the next five to seven years.